Very happy, I'm glad that democracy's won and everything remains the same. Didn't want any change, didn't need any change. Well, there's nothing wrong with our country just now. If we want a better country, we can work and have a better country. We don't need to separate from anyone to have a better country. No Scottish people will make our country better, I'm sure they can, so hopefully they don't disappear and. Uh, and just keep moaning for the rest of our life, just accept a democratic vote and we'll, we'll, we'll make Scotland a better place together. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you a question, there was a line up there and then the polls had not gone through and gave their union jack. And then it's ended up like this again, they keep coming in, but see if we've been there, they've been getting arrested like that. Why are they on this side? That's got a pedigree, doesn't it? You're so fresh. Everyone's got a right to be here. Everyone's got a right to be here. Everyone's got a right to be here. How do you feel about the results? I'm ecstatic, mate. Totally over the moon. This is open British politics. Hey you! Hey. Have a party! Hey. We'll be singing, dancing and singing. Come on over tonight. Hey. And in what way do you think it's better now for Scotland? Well, it'll be better. More, more power for Westminster for the Scottish people. Well, how do you feel after the results? Excited and a wonderful result for the whole of Scotland. Did you expect, expect that? Oh yes, but we knew it and we expected Glasgow to go yes, because that's just what Glasgow does. You know I really what I mean? didn't think that we were going to get I didn't think we would have caught it, but we did. And I'm really, really chuffed for all these young people. So do you think uh, the government of Westminster, they make better decisions yes. for people last year? Up north? Oh yes, they do. They make good decisions and then they come up here. What's happened has happened, you know, like the, the yes vote or the no vote. You know, I, I feel that independence is an inside job, so if people if people had to support the right to be free in the same way that they supported the right to be ruled, everybody would be free. Um, Can you just say what happened? I was holding up a NATO Scotland flag um, to discover peace and stuff with my buddies and that voted yes on the referendum on the 18th of September. And um, during mass confrontation um, and imitation, one of the no camps Holding Union Jacks came over and spat on the Union, no, the salt tire with the NATO peace symbol on it. How do you see the future of the country? I don't think Scotland will ever get independence. It's like I think we lost it on the old, on the vote of the older people. So it was like 70% of the younger people, the 16 and 17 year olds who got the vote for the first time, they voted yes. 73% of the over 65 year olds voted no. And I think the reason for that is because for us, we're getting our information from other places and from Twitter, Facebook, blogs, social media. But for older people, they don't have that. So what they're doing is they're picking up the papers, turning on the news, and obviously, Boo! as you may have seen. Scotland saying no, Scotland uh, saying no. It's been very biased, so it's been a very, it's been a very kind of, it's about fear. So what they've done is they've picked up the newspaper 
and they've all they've seen is things about they're going to lose their pensions, people are going to lose jobs, industry is going to move away, banks are going to move away. So that's all they see, and they don't see the other side of things, you know. So I think I think that's how we lost it. The politicians spreading scare stories about what might happen, and then obviously the media picking that up and giving that a lot of prominence. of the country, I mean, it looks like quite a divide, doesn't it? Yeah, but I don't think this is very typical of the whole of Scotland. You know, Glasgow has this thing where, you know, with Rangers and the Protestantism and the Orange Lodge. So I don't think these guys are representative of nobles. And now maybe there is a bit of a division. Yeah, absolutely. How, how do you feel about the results? I'm a bit disappointed in some of the fellow countrymen that haven't realised, haven't woken up to realise that we're going to get done by Westminster. And the situation's a bit dodgy. You know, there's wee kids about and you know, they could get caught up in something. It could be a dangerous situation to be in. The people here at the moment, they represent, I think, a lot of them represent a thing called the Orange Order which is a very pro-union and very bigoted order of people who hate everyone that's not like them. It's very difficult to see something positive, but there will, there will, we'll keep fighting. The positive, the positive would be that we'll, the Yes campaign will keep fighting until we get there. We'll not give up. We'll not be violent. We'll, we'll stay calm, but we'll get there in the end.